Hello there, I'm Mike and welcome to Theme Park 101. Today, we'll be taking a look at all the rides, shows and attractions in the Disneyland Park at the Disneyland Paris Resort in 2024. After the successful 30th anniversary celebration at the resort ended last year, the parks are gearing up to prepare for the 2024 Summer Olympic Games that will be hosted in Paris and will bring a record number of guests to the resort. Although most of the construction work is currently happening next door at Walt Disney Studios, the Disneyland Park will also be getting a freshen up with some new entertainment and special surprises. Stick around until the end of the video to see what new and exciting parades and nighttime spectaculars are on offer at Disneyland Paris. As you walk under the magnificent Disneyland Hotel, which serves as the entrance of the park, you will head straight into the classic Main Street USA. But before that, you will need to walk under the first attraction. It is of course the Disneyland Railroad. This train takes you all around the park with stations in Main Street, Frontierland, Fantasyland and Discoveryland. It also features unique dioramas and even takes you inside some of the attractions around the park, including Pirates of the Caribbean and Indiana Jones. Along Main Street, you can take a ride in the horse-drawn streetcars or the Main Street vehicles that take you to and from the town square and central plaza. Another unique detail about Disneyland Paris's Main Street are the two wonderful arcades that run either side of the street. You can learn about how the statue of Liberty was created along the Liberty Arcade, or take a stroll down the Discovery Arcade to check out some amazing models of yesterday's visions of tomorrow. At the end of Main Street, you will be facing the beautiful Sleeping Beauty Castle. As with all my attraction guides, I will be heading around the park clockwise, which takes us to the next area, Frontierland. The first attraction you will see is Big Thunder Mountain. This popular minecart roller coaster has a totally unique layout as it is mainly situated on an island in the middle of the rivers of the far west. It's a great coaster that offers amazing views of the other attractions in Frontierland as well as the rest of the Disneyland Paris Resort. Next up is Phantom Manor. This dark ride is Disneyland Paris's version of the Haunted Mansion which can be found at other Disney parks around the world. It has been designed to be dark and scarier than previous versions and offers a unique storyline and soundtrack. Similar to the Big Thunder Mountain, this was an opening day attraction but has gone through various updates throughout the years, with many guests claiming that this is the superior version of the Haunted Mansion. Our next attraction is a little more relaxing. You can head to the Thunder Mesa Riverboat Landing, where you can take a ride on the unique riverboat Molly Brown, named after the famous Titanic survivor. It features a recorded conversation with the captain and Molly Brown as they discuss the different attractions within Frontierland. This is a great way to have a little break and take in the beautiful sights and sounds within this amazing immersive land. No frontier land can be complete without a shooting gallery and this one is no different. You can test your aim at the nicely themed Rustler Roundup shooting gallery for a small extra fee. For the little ones, you can visit the Frontierland playground that features canoe shaped slides, teepees and other small playground activities that are perfect for the younger guests. In this land, you will also be able to find the Frontierland Theatre, which is currently showing Lion King Rhythm of the Pride Lands. This is an amazing and unique show that features acrobats, dancers and singers as they perform all your favourite songs from the Lion King movie. There are plenty of restaurants and other places to explore within Frontierland, which makes it a great way to start your day in the Disneyland Paris Park. The next land you come to as you walk through the connected walkways is Adventureland, which is broken up into four different areas. First up is the Adventureland Bazaar with Middle Eastern influences and houses the walkthrough attraction Aladdin's Enchanted Passage. This features a series of different scenes from the classic Disney animation Aladdin and is the perfect way to kill 10 minutes in between the more popular attractions. The next area has more of an African inspiration and mainly features shops and two awesome restaurants themed to the Jungle Book and the Lion King. At the back of Adventureland is the mysterious Asian Jungle, which is home to the amazing roller coaster Indiana Jones and the Temple of Peril. This was the first roller coaster to feature an inversion at any Disney park when it opened in 1993. You are taken on an adventure in a mining train through a lost temple as you help Indiana Jones escape. This is one of the most thrilling attractions in the park and has a height requirement of 1.4 meters. 
The final section of Adventureland, and by far the largest area, is inspired by the Caribbean. You can go to the Adventure Isle, which is comprised of two different islands and four different attractions. On the North Island is the classic Swiss Family Treehouse, which has more details than any version found at other Disney parks around the world. You can go under the tree, where you can explore a network of caves filled with roots and was used as the Swiss Family's cellar. You can also find a wrecked ship that the castaways originally used. Used. On the South Island, you can find Captain Hook's ship moored near Skull Rock, where you can meet Mr. Smee and Peter Pan's nemesis, Captain Hook. You can find two playgrounds at the Pirate's Beach that has plenty of rope ladders, slides, and you can even walk the plank. The last part of Adventure Isle is the huge mountain known as Spyglass Hill. It is mainly composed of mazes and caves where you can search for the hidden treasure. Some caves even reference the 1950 live-action Disney movie, Treasure Island. The final attraction in Adventureland is the guest favourite, Pirates of the Caribbean. This classic floating dark ride is most similar to the original Disneyland version, as it takes you through various scenes of battles, a town being raided by pirates, and of course the infamous Jack Sparrow makes an appearance. If you're only going to ride one ride in Adventureland, then this has to be it. We now move on to the land with the most attractions, Fantasyland. The first attraction is right underneath the beautiful Sleeping Beauty castle, and that is the Dragon's Lair. This walkthrough attraction takes you to the dimly lit cavern and features a 27 meter long dragon that is one of the largest audio animatronics that Disney Imagineering has ever created. Don't worry, the dragon is sleeping, but you still need to be careful not to wake it. Inside the Sleeping Beauty castle, if you scale the stone steps, you can enjoy another walkthrough attraction, the Sleeping Beauty Gallery. This features a retelling of the famous fairy tale through the use of illustrated books, rich tapestries, and beautiful stained glass windows. Back into the main section of Fantasyland is Lancelot's Carousel, where you can ride on one of the amazing hand-painted horses or chariots. It is best to ride this attraction at night so you can experience all the amazing lights around Fantasyland and within the carousel itself. Next are three classic dark rides, the first being Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. You'll see Snow White meeting the dwarves, the evil queen creating her master plan, and of course the prince saving the day. The next dark ride is Pinocchio's Fantastic journey, which will take you through scenes that feature the Stromboli Circus, Pleasure Island, Monstro the Whale, and other characters from the 1940 classic animated film. The final dark ride is Peter Pan's Flight, which is one of the most popular attractions in the park. You board the flying pirate ship as you travel through scenes in London and Neverland. From one classic to another, Dumbo the Flying Elephant is an aerial carousel style ride that is perfect for younger guests. This is the only attraction that can be found at all six Disney castle parks worldwide, so you know it's a fan favorite. Alice's Curious Labyrinth is a hedge maze that takes you through different scenes from the 1951 animated version of the film. It is comprised of two sections. The Tolgy Woods focuses on Alice's journey through Wonderland and all the characters she meets. The second section is the Queen of Hearts maze, where you'll finally reach the Queen's Castle, which will give you amazing views of Fantasyland and other areas of Disneyland Paris. Sticking with the Alice in Wonderland theme, the next attraction is Mad Hatter's Teacups. This spinning teacup ride is enclosed within a beautiful petal-shaped glass roof and surrounding gardens, making it a great attraction to ride in any weather. Next up is everybody's favourite dark ride on water, It's a Small World. It needs no introduction with its catchy song and iconic Mary Blair style audio animatronic dolls dressed in traditional costumes from cultures all around the world. Disneyland Paris's version has a completely different facade and is the only one to feature a section of dolls from North America. We now come to the storybook land canal boats that takes you on a leisurely paced outdoor boat ride through a winding canal featuring settings from Disney animated films recreated in miniature. This is a perfect way to relax and take in the different stories that Disney has shown us over its 70 years history. New scenes featuring Winnie the Pooh and Frozen will be added to this attraction later in the year. The final attraction in Fantasyland is the Casey Jr. Circus Train. This is a small kiddie coaster which has great views of the Storybook Land Castle and other scenes that are featured in the Storybook Land Canal Boats. 
you can also meet a host of different characters within Fantasyland. Head to the Princess Pavilion to meet your favourite Disney princess, or for a real magical experience, you can go and visit magician Mickey Mouse in his VIP dressing room. We now move on to the final land within the Disneyland Paris Park, which is the amazing Discovery Land. This is Disneyland Paris' version of Tomorrowland and has a complete different aesthetic, as it uses influences from Leonardo da Vinci, HG Wells and most notably Jules Verne, which creates a completely unique and wonderful setting. The first attraction that you will come to is Star Tours The Adventure Continues. This 3D motion simulator takes you on a journey with C-3PO and R2-D2 and has great rewritability, as there are randomised scenes from all three trilogies which creates 54 different combinations. Also in Spring 2024, new scenes from the popular Star Wars TV series Ahsoka will be added to the attraction, making this already great ride even better. Next door, you can head to the Starport to meet some of your favourite Star Wars characters in this unique meet and greet area. Sticking with the Star Wars theme, you have to check out Hyperspace Mountain, which was previously known as Space Mountain Mission 2. This has an amazing Star Wars overlay that was added to this exciting roller coaster. This is the only space mountain to feature inversions and a section of the track that exits and re-enters the interior, making it super unique. Although there have been rumours that Space Mountain will be dropping the Star Wars theme, it looks like Hyperspace Mountain will be sticking around for the time being. Next is Buzz Lightyear Laser Blast. This shooting dart ride takes you to battle the evil Emperor Zerg as you fight alongside Buzz Lightyear and the Space Command. This is a great attraction to ride with your friends and family to see who can get the highest score. Similar to other Tomorrowlands, there is a spinning rocket attraction named Orbitron. Instead of a rocket at its central axis, this version resembles a bronze 19th century rotating planetarium and is also the first version of the attraction attraction to be installed at ground level, instead of atop an elevated platform. Next is Autopia, which lets guests steer specially designed cars through an enclosed track. This is perfect for younger guests that love cars and want to experience the drive of a lifetime. The Mysteries of the Nautilus is a walkthrough attraction based on the movie 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. You can explore Captain Nemo's submarine and even see the battle with a giant squid. The final attraction in Discoveryland is Mickey's Philhar Magic. This 4D show features a 3D film, scents and water, as well as a number of different characters and scenes from Disney animation classics. Recently, brand new scenes featuring characters from the popular Coco movie have been added, so make sure you go and check it out. So that wraps up all the rides and attractions in the park, let's take a look at all the parades and nighttime entertainment that Disneyland Paris has to offer. Let's start with the popular Disney Stars on Parade, which celebrates the discovery of the lands of imagination represented by various Disney and Pixar films, such as Toy Story, The Jungle Book, The Lion King, Finding Nemo, Sleeping Beauty and Frozen. If you have ever seen a Disney parade before, then you know they are not to be missed, and this is no exception. Last year, Disneyland Paris showcased brand new entertainment to celebrate the park's 30th anniversary. After the celebration ended in September 2023, the beloved Disney Dreams Nighttime Spectacular has returned. This beautiful 20-minute show makes great use of projection mapping technology, pyrotechnics, fountains, and of course fireworks to the backdrop of some classic Disney songs, making this the perfect way to end your day at the park. Also during the anniversary, Disneyland Paris created a new nighttime spectacular called Disney Delight that used a special drone light choreography that illuminates the sky over Sleeping Beauty Castle. It was very popular with guests, which is why they have introduced a brand new nighttime show called Disney Symphony of Colors. This also makes use of drone technology to create an electric parade in the sky. And as you can see, it is very spectacular and definitely worth a watch when visiting the resort. Resort. Also on February 10th, Disney's Symphony of Colors will be expanding into a special daytime production in the Central Plaza, which will celebrate the amazing animation of Disney and Pixar and will be called A Million Splashes of Color. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you would like to help support the channel, then consider subscribing or joining as a member for exclusive early access to videos and other exciting perks. Check out my affiliate links below for some great deals on tickets and hotel packages and if 
you want to know more about the park next door, Walt Disney Studios, then check out this video here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Theme Park 101.